Lucas Media. I don't even know what to say before playing this audio. Shout out to Ross Hall's video on it, but y'all really want Joe Biden to be in office for another four years? Let me play this audio and then I'm going to get back with my thoughts. I'm proud to be, as I said, the first vice president, the first black woman mm -hmm. to serve with a black president. Mm -hmm. I'm proud to have all the first black woman in the Supreme Court. And there's just so much that we can do because together, we, there's nothing. Look, this is the United States of America. So what y'all just heard was this man, Joe Biden, saying that he is the first black woman to serve in the White House. Now, Joe Biden had a lot of people nervous. He had a lot of people nervous in that debate. It was so bad that you've seen Biden, I mean Biden, Obama had to come out and try to say everybody has an off night. Joe Biden, who was an old 81 years old, and it's not his age because I know people in their 90s who are more youthful than that, but this is scary, honestly. Um, you really want this man to have the nuclear football? Y'all hate it. Y'all hate Trump that bad that you will get this man the nuclear the nuclear codes. You, Joe Biden has shown signs over the last couple of years that he is aging. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they enact the, the 25th Amendment, honestly, to have him removed from office. And I'm sorry, I'm not a pro Trump supporter, honestly, but re really like 2020. OK, 2016. OK, 2024. Joe Biden should not be in office no more. He shouldn't. Now, the Democrats dropped the ball because you should have had another candidate, honestly. Or you should have had one that probably would have been, but he had to take a side, step, take a step back. But now Biden should be, you know, now that he's going to hopefully resign, at least as far as trying to be a president after the November election, you should have somebody waiting, but they don't. And you could, you've heard rumors that the Democrats are scrambling to figure out what to do. Joe Biden's 81. So by the time Joe Biden got out of office, he will be 85 years old. And if he's deteriorating now, imagine where he gonna be at at 83. And even like his, the, the, the press conferences or the debate with Trump, Jill Biden had to help him. He just, he he seems like he's there, but he's not there. You know what I mean? And I agree with Too Raw. He's more likely, if he's elected again, he's just a figurehead. The people behind the scenes are pulling the strings because he can't really hold a conversation. And it's just funny that he been going on tour to try to reassure people, but he keeps messing up. How do you get the first, you're the first black woman to ever serve? Could you imagine if somebody else did that? But you don't really see the, the liberal media talking about that because they don't want you to. They want you to feel that if another, if a Republican's getting office, i.e. a Donald Trump, it's going to be a dictatorship. But this is the same play that they run every four years. You even seen uh, uh, Vice President Harris she didn't have to sit down with Quavo because that's what they do, right? It, it's it's funny. It's like they run the the old T formation in football, right? I mean, it was first founded in 1882 when they started using it. And it seems like they just run it every place still. Even though it's outdated, you know, all you hear is blue 88, blue 88. And you're like, well, coach, wait a minute. We didn't ran this play a thousand times. I'll oh, run it some more. They're, they're going to they're gonna fall for the same one. We ain't switching it up. It ain't no options. It's just straight the T formation. And that's what they be doing. So they didn't scare people to make it seem like if Biden loses, this country democracy is over, which historically they've been saying this for 150 years, honestly. But Joe Biden should be in office, man, honestly. And he should do everybody a favor and, and resign. He should resign right now, like how Richard Nixon did when he was in office. And, you know, let Harris be in office for now until we the Democrats can get another a president in. But this is sad. It's sad. It's embarrassing. You know, and it's a lot. It's, it's, it's kind of fearful to watch, honestly. Like, it's so bad that they can't, that nobody can really make any excuses for that. The first black woman to be a president. Let me play this one more time. Because I, kn I know I'm not tripping. Please tell me if it's me. By the way, I'm proud to be, as I said, the first vice president, the first black woman to mm -hmm. serve with a black president. Mm -hmm. I'm proud to have all the first black women in the Supreme Court. And there's just so much that we can do because together, we, there's nothing. Look, this is the United States of America. That, that's really, it's, it, it ain't got that bad. Y'all don't even care no more. You don't even care. But like I said, please tell me if I'm tripping, man. Let me know what y'all think.